not a catching skill, holding is a ball manipulation skill. So usually you look at two players, your quarterbacks or your punters. But if you can make the punter the holder, he and the long snapper and the kicker work together all practice. Whereas the kickers don't have access to the quarterbacks. When Matt Barkley was our holder, we really didn't have another option. Okay? But if the punter can be the holder, then that's always the preferred situation. What was that scouting trip like to go see him? Just like everything else, except it took 17 hours to get there. <laughs> you know, so I got caught up on all the movies that I never get to see, you know. So I got to see E.T. and I got to see Star Wars, all the movies I never watched when I was a kid. <laughs> Has he ever seen a, an American football game in person? And will this be the one, first one he plays in, the first one he's ever been to? I'm not comfortable answering that question, honestly. Uh, you'd have to ask him. But, I mean, you know, he watched the games in Australia. You know, he's had plenty of friends that came here. But the thing is, is he is the first real accomplished AFL player to come do this. There have been VFL players. There have been some guys who played a couple years of AFL. But to get a guy with that level of experience, that level of talent, that level of maturity, that, that really wants a college degree, you know, that's what makes it special. Yeah, he kicks the ball differently. I mean, you're not getting that classic, you know, spiral turnover and all. You're getting well, that. he's got more shots. He's, 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 I mean, they better catch it, right, or it's going to bounce yeah. 20 yards. Yeah, you saw that. They have no idea how to. You remember, you remember when knuckleballers were first thrown and they, the catchers came out with the pizza glove? Because, okay, well, same thing. You know, he can, he can do some special things with that ball. How did he first get on your radar? Well, I have friends down there. I had, a, I had an Australian in Michigan named Blake O'Neill. And, uh, you know, I've worked at, uh, you know, a network. But when I came here in 2016, you know, we had Reed and Chris. And I, I mean, it, it was a three-year project, you know, to have an opportunity to recruit another player. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, and, uh, you know, we're excited to take the next step with him. How so, sure were you that he would retire and, and make that leap? I mean, how big a... 100% sure. Because that, sure. yeah, yeah. that was the deal. Okay. okay? Uh, that was the deal. And uh, and it was time. He was going into a contract year, and it was, it was that time for him anyway. So, you know, what a blessing. Now at 27, going to be 28, he gets to go to college. You know, in Australia, the system is a lot like professional baseball. They, the great players go straight out of high school. And they never have a chance to go to college, and he really wanted to go to college. Like I said, he wants to be a teacher. So, you know, what a great opportunity for everybody. So, so in that three-year window, how, how long were you talking to him for? Uh, for about a year and three quarters. Okay. So it was a, a long, couple years. Long yeah. Recruitment. Oh, yeah. And, uh, boy, it was exciting to get him here, you know. He's an incredible human being, too. So was it one of your friends initially who said, check this guy out? Or? I got a network of friends and that, that identify <laughs> players. So, yeah. So, so when you get him here, the first time he kicks a football, it's, got, it's a different sound. Did you, I mean, did you like, uh, I like Oh, I knew what we were getting. Yeah. I'd seen him on tape, you know. And... Um, is he kicking? Did they surprise, kick American yeah, footballs over there? Do they? Yeah. Do they board well, not in Aussie rules. They, they kick an Aussie, kick an Aussie rules ball. But you get to see him kick a sure. American. Yeah. It sounds. I'm different. kind of excited that it you guys finally noticed. <laughs> huh? Huh, Tim? It sounds different when he kicks. Sounds really powerful, if you ask me. Has he brought anything to you? You said, you said he's got different shots. Was there anything that he's kind of suggested or? Right now, I'm teaching him our game. Sure. Okay, but you know, you know, he and I, we watch tape together. You know, uh, we talk strategy. You know, and I'm, you know, like I said, I'm teaching the game. He's really coachable, but you know, he's a mature guy. So you know, he comes up to the office when his homework's done, and he's not looking to go anywhere or do anything. He drinks a cup of coffee, and we sit there and watch tape. And it's a, it's a very professional relationship. You know, before you went out there, had you seen him kicking American football, or was that part of that scouting? Oh, I saw it. Yeah, on tape. I mean. Okay. If, you know, guys film it and stuff. So when the other coaches heard upon the practice, they sort of give you a pat on the back or like. 
That's our job to champion our position and find good players. So, you know, that's our job at every position. But like I said, uh, we were kind of locked in place to, for 16, 17, and 18, you know. Uh, when, you know, when we gave Reed a scholarship, we had two punters on scholarship, there's nothing else you can do. Um, you know, so the next scholarship opportunity will be the kicker that we recruit. In another year. When you work on punting, he's the only punter right now. I mean, he's the only guy punting. We got another one coming. You got another one? You know what the rules are. I can't confirm oh, the recruitment okay, of a student okay, athlete. Right, okay. Remember those? Yes, I Yeah, they're rules. Okay. Yeah, I follow them. Okay. Okay. Very good. It was good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.